Now, what do you expect for bands here on uh, Clubhouse? Probably the usual. Uh, I haven't really seen any weird bands yet. It's probably going to be a Jackal band, maybe. Jackal, maybe a Clash. I don't know. I haven't seen many Clash bands lately. Usually you spend Jackal, maybe a Monty here. I'd like to see some unique bands come out. Uh, it's just been classic Jackal, uh, uh, Jackal. probably Echo, Mira, uh, possibly Thatcher on the attack here. I'd like to see some interesting shake it up a little bit. Yeah. Uh, I mean, if they ban that Monty, that prevents that Monty push into that garage, which is so strong. So we'll see. I don't even know. Has Monty been played tonight? Uh, well, we haven't played Monty. Uh, when, well, when we played Clubhouse, they banned Monty against us. I forget what team that was. Uh, I think it was LLC, yeah. Oh, a Blitz oh, ban. Yeah, I think LLC was talking. They said they don't like playing against that Blitz. Uh, they banned them, I believe, when we played against them also. Yeah, so far the only people that have played Blitz uh, were Lords and then Daddy's Toys were the only two that have played it so far. Yeah. Ohio, yeah, Ohio State had played Blitz on the last round of their last game and absolutely demolished. I forget who it was. I think it was – was it Daddy's Toys? Yeah. I think he the Blitz got a 4K in the last round. Just yeah, he can just be so him. powerful with that flashing and just rush up in your face. You can't do anything about it. Even though they yeah. reduced his ADS time, it doesn't stop. It doesn't help when he's right up in your face and he just bash you right in the yep. nose. So. Especially since LLC is mostly console players, it's going to be mm -hmm. harder to hit that headshot where Ohio State has the advantage. Yeah, we've seen the console players uh, play way more shields and also shotguns. Uh, not necessarily just for aim, but also uh, you can one-shot people without really having to be that precise, um, which isn't necessarily a crutch. However, it it, uh, it helps when you can't hit that head as consistently. Now, debate between console and PC is going uh, and continues to go. However, uh, from what we've seen here, we have seen the PC players outperform uh, the console players. Yep, looks like some default bands here, banning that Mira and the Echo. Standard. Yep. Ooh, a Fuse coming out. It'll be interesting to see if he six picks off that or keeps that. They are going CCTV, so that Fuse isn't going to be that useful. Oh, it looks like the Fuse is being stuck. It'll be interesting to see how that Fuse plays. A six pick onto Thermite here. Yeah. One thing I'm noticing is they're not taking a Legion, and they're not six picking off of anything on Terrible defense. Point. They also don't have a Thatcher. Uh... It's gonna, they're, Ohio State's going to have a hard time opening up the main wall if it's going to be bandit tricked. They don't, they don't have any nades. They don't have a Capitao. Now, the only thing I can think is they're going to take Ash or Zofia and push into stock, open the floor, and try and shoot that bandit as he's bandit tricking. However, Ohio, I haven't seen them do that yet. Yeah. So uh, it makes me think that they can just because of the level of play that they're at. But I don't know if that's the strats they're going for. They probably, from what I'm seeing they're going to go for a construction take, unless they are bringing that Ash Zofia to go under and destroy those bandits. Yeah, they're fully capable uh, to dispatch that, or <laughs> remove the bandit, but it'll be interesting to see what they do. They're doing a default garage play here. Doc's likely going to play top of garage rafters, reinforcing the bottom, and nothing special here. Just yeah, that ACOX is just so powerful up there on yep. the catwalk. Smoke is placing a deployable shield on that B-bomb, making it harder for attackers, if they open that wall, to shoot into the garage. Now, there's no rotate here here on the catwalk, uh, so that means that if they do play top, they're going to have to vault through uh, that the window there, which leaves them slightly yeah. vulnerable to the window. So um, I'm interested to see if they are just going to die there on the catwalk or if they're actually going to try and rotate out once they lose control. I think the Maestro is rotating. Yep, the Maestro is going to be playing in Garage. He's going to have a hard time rotating out, though. He's kind of just going to be stuck there in the entire round. Jaeger is playing in Master right now. Going to be hiding in the bathroom in that corner. <laughs> that Fuse pick is definitely a very interesting pick. It'll be interesting to see where it looks like he's pushing Garage. Especially considering... Uh, uh, the way Clubhouse has been going, CC is the default pick, and there's not really a good place for a fuse. Um, not that you can really move the defenders out. If you want to clear utility, possibly, wow. oh, th even though they do manage wow. to get that wall, couldn't quite see how they got that there. Um, that is definitely a mistake on Ohio State's part. I don't know what that be uh, th There wasn't anyone to challenge the bandit, so yeah. obviously he was just on rotate and wasn't bandit tricking. Just Ash looking, trying to get an angle. Oh, and yep, there goes the fuse. Yeah, the fuse <laughs> peeking garage. He just gets his head <laughs> blown right off. Looks like the air's going to be rotating down. Maybe try to flank. Except there, there aren't any attackers inside yet. Looks like they've been losing all the gunfights on the exterior here, just on peaks so far. Yep. Oh, another one's the thermite goes down, which isn't a big deal considering they already got that wall open. However, as we know, fragmite, once you get yep. that wall open and you serve your utility, you're now entry fragger. So uh, that's going to be 
big hit to them. They do have the Habana, so they can try to push construction, but it, they're likely going to have a hard time clearing out the roamers. Now, she already used all of her Habana pots. Oh. I believe that was on the construction exterior wall. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, the attackers here at a very big disadvantage. 3v5. Looks like Ash is going to maybe jump. No, not jumping in. Rotating back down. Now, 3v5 is very doable. Um, not with plays like that, though. Um, but it is very achievable in terms of being able to take the site, especially if you drone correctly and have people on drones that are already dead calling out info. Um, it happens all the time. Yeah, Zofia losing her gunfight to, looks like the Maestro. Questionable pick on that red dot site. Zofia can withstand, though. It's going to turn it back into a 2v5. Um, Ash is going to rush in, yeah. Oh. Nope. Yeah, you're right behind her. yeah, and that's just sweep by Ohio State. Yeah, Ohio State had a good take just holding angles uh i would like to see them hold that cc wall better they kind of just gave it up with no contestion but as well as they held that that they might have been drawing them in honestly um because again 5-0 like they yeah clean sweep it seems more of a misplay on llc's part mm -hmm. kind of just pushing solo and just getting your fag looks like someone did leave the game i don't know if that oh rage quit <laughs> rage quit <laughs> opinions on insomnia opinions on insomnia <laughs> ooh Expensive, but very, very good. Yes. And if you're not uh, aware of what Insomnia is, uh, Jack, you want to go ahead and, and explain that? Insomnia is just very good cookies. Uh, they deliver, which is very good because sometimes I'm lazy. But if you haven't <laughs> checked it out, go there. Get Always some cookies. lazy. You also have to, if you don't buy milk through cookies, you have a problem. You need you need that 2% milk. It's 2%. Oh, no, vitamin D. If you're, if you're yeah, going to drink no, milk, you no. might as well go all out. Skim. No, no. <laughs> Skim, no. No, if it's with cookies, <laughs> it's got to be 2%. <laughs> okay, favorite cookie? Chocolate chip. It, it's just uh, basic. They've got good M&M's. Good M&M's cookie. Okay, uh, we're going to have Poseidon here. Poseidon, what's your favorite cookie from Insomnia? Chocolate chip. Chocolate chip, okay. <laughs> we got uh, two chocolate chips. My favorite sugar. Sure. It, yeah. You can't go wrong. You, you can't go wrong if, if it's gooey, it's amazing. If it's overcooked and it just turns crispy oh, and just melts in your mouth, it's a perfect cookie. Does rejoin yeah, back. Class. Looks like Ohio State's going to be in a 4v5 here. Uh, they're going to be down reinforcement, see how that plays out. They did get all the hatches. Looks like they have a castle. It'll be interesting to see where they put those castles. Usually castle isn't play. Castle has been seeing more play on basement, though, in the recent recent season looks like LLC is bringing a, a hub not a Habana they're bringing a thermite so if they do looks like Ohio State is going to be impact tricking so that thermite's going to have a hard time opening that kitchen hatch yeah, it's interesting to see the castle played more and more this season I'm not sure exactly why that is maybe people are just figuring out strats um, but especially now whereas LCC hasn't brought much to counter that besides an ash um i'm assuming that most of the operators are going to be running claymore um just because there's not a whole lot of, i mean there's soft destruction on this map but on this particular site uh, aside from the kitchen there's not really a whole lot of soft destruction uh so it's going to be interesting to see how they do deal with those uh with those castle barricades just because it takes 11 hits to break those down as opposed to standard three Buck Skeleton Key does not do any damage. However, he does have grenades, yeah, and if he manages to throw them at the base yeah. um, and not overthrow, it will destroy it with, with just one grenade. But that's a wasted utility. Uh, potentially could get a frag, uh, move someone out of a camping spot. I think that I just see an Ohio State player, a defender, sitting in kitchen, hiding in meat, meat locker, that corner. I believe I did. Yep, yep. An Ohio State player. I believe that is the, is the bandit. Yep, the bandit is hiding in meat locker. Now, if they don't drone that, that could be a serious play by Ohio State. If they're not aware of him, yeah. that could really come back to bite them yeah. later on. They, they definitely do not know wh that Drawing he's in there. If someone already bought him main, they know he's bought him. Oh, what a nice shot, shot by the Cade, completely annihilating the cat tower. They know he's there. Someone. Well, Bandit gets the down two, gets the C4. This is turning around for Ohio State. Who started out? Remember, they started out as a 4v5. Bandit here is likely to be stuck. You see... The so there is a guy going down main stairs, yeah. but the band is unaware, it looks like, at this point. Doc getting another pick on blue. Looks like they're just running into bullets here. They're kind of just ignoring this bandit. I don't know if that's the best play. No, definitely not. He can rotate. Uh, he can use the holes above uh, to really just destroy anyone trying to plant, especially if there's a d uh, cam. He gets another him. kill. Is he gonna, he gets the third. Just not dealing with that bandit at all, just leaving him meat locker. Just able to sit in kitchen and get 
two easy kills on we the had end there. We had a couple oh, flawless yeah. rounds, yeah. Um, now that's just lack of droning for one, lack of coordination, um, and really just the inability to win gunfights. Uh, is that because just skill gap? Is that because uh, some might, might be playing on console? Um, we're not exactly sure, but it, it comes down. That's the second flawless round that Ohio State's had. They have not had a death so far. And that 0-2, that's, that's pretty big. Ohio State bringing out the Tachanka. Let's see if there's a six pick off that. Oh, big brain six pick coming here now, this from would be Big the Boss. Second time we've seen the Tachanka come out. Second time Chanka, and it's the second time we've seen a six pick to the same op. Big Boss pulling out the strategy. Okay, everyone guess who's six pick. Nice. Attackers need to locate and now, uh, anyone who was here at the very beginning of the stream, that was um, Daddy's Toys picked. Tachanka against uh, what was it, Lords, and they went for a spawn peak, getting one. I don't think they secured a second, but they did get one on the spawn peak with Tachanka. Pretty humiliating way to go, uh, but with that shield, he is a very strong peaker. Like if you're gonna spawn peak with someone, Tachanka is not a bad op, uh, assuming they don't know where you're at, and you can hit that headshot with the first shot. They're also bringing out that Cav, which has insane damage close range with her pistol. It'll be interesting to see where she plays. Likely see her downstairs roaming, just trying to get those interrogations. If they could get wall hacks for 15 seconds, that would be game changing. That They'd probably be, be looking at another yeah. flawless round. Oh, definitely. Oh, and pool? No, not warehouse on the opposite side. Uh, see, oh, it looks like he's going to be playing. Yep, he's playing in construction, going for that really close angle here. Just trying to take out some heads. The thing with Tachanka is you can't move while you're using his turret. And as you can see on your screen, the crosshairs do obscure your vision. Uh, so it's, it is more difficult to hit the headshots with Tachanka than I feel most other guns, even some iron sights. Um, but if you can put yourself in a position where you're not going to get grenaded and you're not going to get hit from the side um, and they can only see your head, he can be a powerful operator. Well, it looks like yeah, he's picking up shop and moving somewhere else. Took his, de his deployable shield and... Yeah, there's no one near Cav at the moment. Is that two? Wow, that's a sledge downed outside. I don't know by who. My guess is Cav just because the, the kill wasn't secured, but we do see Jaeger peeking, so it could have been him. Yeah. Now, keep in mind, guys, uh, we are playing on the Pro League settings, so you do not get points. You're not, you're not uh, notified that you do get an injured. So uh, just because we see that they're down doesn't mean that they know. Castle getting picked off by a good shot. And that is the first death on Ohio State side yep. this round. Twitch using the entire game. F2, the well known. Oh, Tachanka. Tachanka on what is that, one health? Oh my god. Tachanka is so back. low. Oh, does he know someone's pushing up main? There's a sledge pushing up main. The sledge might not know where he is. He gets Ooh, the kill anyway. That was a nice shot. It just. Habana gets a pick on looks like the dock. Oh no, the cav. That was with the cav roaming. It's gonna be hard for, for Habana. She's running into. Yep. Gets her head taken right off by the Jaeger. Oh, the last <laughs> the last one is Glaz here out on the western roof, just trying to get some picks. He's using no. He's he's running with the iron sights right now. See if he can get a pick here. It's gonna be hard. All the defenders are holding cross angles. Tachanka is still on one health. If Glass can manage to get a, a shot onto that chunk, it's going to be an instant kill. Or even the bandit. It might have enough damage. The bandit would probably down. Yeah. I don't know if it would straight out kill him, but it would definitely down him. Tachanka looks like he's contesting. Oh, oh. He sees there it. There okay. goes the Tachanka. Peeking a questionable light. He wasn't even peeking it. He turned around and his back was shown. I'm assuming he just didn't realize his butt was sticking out that far. Yeah. Yeah, you're just playing in close angle. Oh, oh! What a shot by the Glass, just destroying the Jaeger, not knowing he's jumping in. It's a 1v1 here. 15 seconds, 15 15 seconds, seconds left. He doesn't have Diffuser. He's going to have to go for the frag. He doesn't know where he is, and he gets picked off by the Bandit in gym. Now, that was just misplayed on Ohio State's part. Uh, a 3v1. 3v1, 4v1, especially when Glass is outside sight. Um, you should just be holding cross angles, and you really shouldn't allow them. To, to even get 
one kill, let alone two. Now, yeah. we're not perfect. Obviously, we've, we've had our, our shares of potato moments and uh, losing and throwing rounds as evidenced if you've been watching the stream. But um, it, it is a whole lot easier to sit back and spectate and see, see the outlines on the walls and be able to call the shots and what should have happened. So nothing against any of the players. Um, just misplayed. Um, potentially losing the round, but it didn't. They're on 0-3. Rainbow Six, is he going to stick the fuse? Oh, no, it looks like he's six-picking off to the Twitch. Now, that's something I was expecting. Um, Twitch is just so powerful, especially when you're bringing Jaeger, Bandit, and Ella, especially the Meister, too. So the Twitch can take out four of the five operators and technically smoke, but he's going to have those gas canisters in his back pocket until he needs them. Um, but if that Twitch can take care of those Maestro Evil Eyes, then that's just a big hit to Ohio State. And... Um, They've been playing him semi-effectively, I would say, uh, today. I don't know if I've seen a, a plant stop by an evil eye, but that's just because I feel like today's been more so just guns out fragging as opposed to smoke plants and actually getting diffuser down. Um, but I think that's just from most people come from ranked. Uh, it's, it's definitely more of a ranked strat in terms of this land as opposed to a pro league, uh, which generally comes down to more of the fragging. Um, and, and less of the actual playing the objective, but there is still some of that going on. Yep, it uh, looks like the smoke shot out holes in the CC, uh, in the cash room, or not my bad, in the CC room, making it easier for the bandit to bandit trick. It'll be interesting to see. Hopefully the bandit trick, it looks like he is going to be bandit trick, and they don't have a Thatcher, and they do have the Ash. The Ash is really going to be their only way of going under and getting those bandit charges, but besides that, it does not look like they're going to get... That and wall. Capitao was unbanned, correct? Capitao is unbanned. Thatcher is unbanned questionable decision not to bring a Thatcher, but to bring a Habana and Thermite. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, they're really counting on being able to get that wall open without, with just the Twitch. Um, again, Ash could go under, but LCC, I, I question their ability to do it at this point. Uh, it's 0-3, just being able to get into stock, secure a foothold. We haven't been able to see them really even get into sight. Um, Yeah, they've, they've been stopped pretty much every time they try to, to get on. They've might have got on once, got on to site yep. once, maybe twice. It looks like uh, they're doing somewhat of a construction push. You can see a lot of the attackers on that construction side. The Ella is holding construction with her shotgun, which just completely r destroys people at close range. But like Jaeger's going to yeah, go for a peek out here. Probably going to run out the south strip door. Yep, he is going to run out the south now, this strip door. This is a pretty risky peek, would you say so? It's a, I mean, it's relatively safe. They don't know where they're coming from, and on console it's hard to flick. So if he gets the if he gets the peeker's advantage and they don't know he's coming, he's likely going to get the kill. But he's not. He doesn't see anyone. He's just going to run back in. But I would say generally if you're going to peek wide onto the, uh, onto the rooftop, you do get spotted most of the time. Yes, it, it's a definitely a very risky run. It looked like they did see it. You saw the ash at the top corner. Uh, aiming down at the strip side, but it looks like he's just going to waste time and rotate back to stock. Looks like he's going to go for a run out, see if anyone's on repel. Yep, no one's on repel, he's just going to run back in. Relatively safe run out unless there's a claymore there. He didn't really check for claymore, but luckily there wasn't one there. I think that was a Zofia charge. No, it was not. There was a flash going off. One main stair. No mat on main stairs going to retake the gunfight and lose it. Nomad winning the gunfight under the Jaeger. That's going to be pretty big. That's a roamer. The Bandit's going to get a pick, and the Jaeger's going to kill the... No, it's Habana on Jaeger. Habana on Jaeger. That's the Thermite down. And they don't have... <laughs> this construction wall is soft right now. Yeah, this Bandit going for a in-between the slats. He's peeking. Yeah. He's not they finding him, him, though. Oh, Bandit getting low, blowing up Bandit here in a sticky situation. Kind of questionable why they left that a soft wall. Now they still have Twitch up, so uh, they could send that Twitch drone in and just zap him, and he's down. Yeah. He's low enough that two Twitch hits, and he is he's down an operator. Yeah, Ben and Smoke are very low. It's just the Maestro here at full health. The Twitch and Ash also are at basically 10 health. This is going to be hard for Ohio State to hold this. Oh, Ohio State gets a double kill. <laughs> just as we say that. <laughs> And that therm, is that a therm? The Twitch is a, Twitch gets a kill, but is downed. Two v one essentially. Thermite comes in, uh, and defenders win. Yeah, kind of poor time management there by LCC, pushing kind of at the last minute. The, the Habana was stuck on the roof, not really pushing with the team. Yeah, they didn't even really get into the uh, the building until a minute. Ah, uh, yeah, a minute they got good control. They all kind of stacked up in construction, allowing that bandit to get a double kill. I don't know how exactly how. Bennett was on low health, so he must have peaked, and no one was no one was looking at him. Of all the uh, maps played today, 
Are there any that uh, you miss out on that were, were banned? Maybe Bank. Um, maybe other teams played them, not just us. But cafe. I'm not a big Bank fan. <laughs> we, personally. we haven't played Bank or Cafe. Cafe is a great map. We haven't played it yet. Uh, I'd much rather go Cafe over Bank. I think Bank yeah. is just kind of stale at this point, honestly. Um, I'm not saying it needs a rework or anything. It's just the meta's established, uh, and there hasn't really been an operator to shake that up recently. I feel like ever since... Um, well, ever since Kaid was introduced, uh, being able to trick those hatches, it's just kind of came to a stalemate in terms of uh, strategies coming out. And it, for me, it's just kind of turned into more of a boring um, who can frag more, because the strat is pretty much the same. Yeah, I mean, they, <laughs> they added Warden, so maybe yeah. stop some of the smoke plants that often happen in bank. But that we haven't really, we haven't actually, yeah, we haven't seen any pro play really with Warden, so it'll be interesting to see if they ever actually use him, maybe in base. Yeah, it feels like the smoke plants have kind of died down recently. Yeah, too. it's um, definitely gone more to Maestro. Frag. Could be Maestro. It also just could be that's that's the meta right now, kind of pushing in quick, you know, flashing, using all your, your utility. Ohio State here is going to go downstairs. Ohio State is up 4 0. It'll be. Uh, It'll be a hard round for LCC just because basement's such a good site. The cat they also brought a castle, slowing down LCC even even more. LCC's been quite slow on pushing into the building and getting control. So yeah, no, we can't discredit LCC yet though because this this is attacking only. Uh, that's true. With, with the changes now, you spend five rounds attacking, five rounds defending, and if Ohio State is just a better, uh, excuse me, six six rounds attacking, six rounds defending, and if Ohio State is just a better defending team and LCC is just a better defending team, then when they switch sides, we may actually see an overtime play come out here. Yeah, I mean, yeah, Clubhouse is definitely a little bit more defender-sided. Sometimes you'll see teams pull string, strings of attacks together, but usually it's it's defender, defenders come on top. Impact trick going out here. Impact trick, He's they miss it though. do they get it off? Uh, the Havana only gets two pellets. The hatch isn't destroyed, but they will be able to look down. The Ying getting a great kill onto, looks like the Alibi. I don't know where the Alibi was playing. Likely roaming. It's also most of the impacts gone, especially from the Kaid. He used both of them and was unable to yep. stop the Havana pellets. They need two more in order to open that hatch, um, but with that giant gaping hole in it, it's going to be very difficult to Wait hold a minute. under. Bandit just got a melee kill on the Habana who just walked into kitchen hallway. <laughs> just walked into kitchen hallway and just meleeed him. Yeah, not much dr droning coming out here. And, and it looks like the Bandit's going to get another pick. Just roaming and causing chaos. Uh, they haven't really been able to deal with this Bandit well. He's, is he going to get a... He Whoa. does. He gets a third... Tr he gets a third kill. Bandit uh, is just destroying. They he have no idea. He Diffuser. <laughs> Bandit going for an extremely aggressive play here. Oh. Gonna jump back into it kitchen. He knows that the last one is dirt as well. Maybe one of his teammates yeah, called that out. Yeah, they, they likely called it out. Oh, looks like he might go down. Oh. He doesn't know where he is. He sees him. Ooh, just oh, he's. Oh, okay. He's gonna go back. Oh, looks like they're gonna just play really aggressive here. Oh. Eager's gonna run out. Is he gonna get the kill? Yes, he oh. is. Thatcher aiming at the, the wrong place. <laughs> and that's Ohio State 6, LCC 0. It'll be interesting to see if LCC will be able to pull out a good run here on defense. You, a lot of times on cash, you'll see teams go for a good three, three, four defenses before attack. Attackers actually get around, but now I am expecting LCC to win at least one attack on this site, um, on this map. Excuse me. Yeah. Um, just because it's it's pretty rare. We we've seen one clean sweep today. Um, we played against LCC, and they are a capable team, especially um, in terms of attack. They can pull out uh, the wins. So I am expecting them to take a round here. Um, at this point, I'm not expecting them to completely uh, turn this match around and win it. But crazier things have happened. We are switching sides, um, starting new. Uh, they might be able to shake off those previous losses and come back and win. Yeah, I mean, Ohio State's looked very dominant, so it'll be hard for LCC. Momentum, obviously, swayed in Ohio's. Huge momentum swayed in Ohio's yeah. favor right now. 0-5, they can throw four, four or five matches and uh, just win two more and still come out on top. So the pressure is really off of Ohio. Now, that can work against you if you start getting cocky and start peaking stuff that you wouldn't normally and LCC is ready for it. Um, that remains to be seen, however, once we are switching sides here. So Yep. LCC is still not bringing that Thatcher, making it extremely hard to get pool. Uh, they did bring a Thatcher. They did. 
Oh, they are. My bad. I miss. I miss saw that. But yeah, uh, well, it's good that they're bringing a Thatcher. I think that's what is that the first time they brought a Thatcher? That is, is the first time they yep. brought a Thatcher. Yes. So well, they have a. Well, this is the first time on on attack. Yeah. Well, they, it looks like they're gonna have a better time opening that pool. It'll be interesting to see where they choose to attack from. Now, uh, if that bandit does bandit trick uh, the wall, it's not really gonna matter if they do have a Thatcher though, because he's gonna be able to stop those uh, those exothermic charges and the pellets from going down. That that, that is true. Uh, Ash might be able to Ash both the castles off though The one on Jim Wall and Jim Door But they likely have ADS's there preventing that <laughs> Habana already on 25 health I don't know who she came into, into engagement with But uh, My show yeah my, my show looking like he's on 50 health Yep That's that's Thermite down though Yeah Thermite they're, they're thermite Habana down. on low HP This yeah. is not looking good for LCC Castle going for a run out Playing extremely aggressive here. Not going to see anyone. He's likely going to get back safely. Yeah, he does. Now, we are seeing them just become more and more confident. Wait, this oh, wait the diffuser, the diffuser the going, down, going down. No, the diffuser oh. is getting denied by the maestro. Likely had camps in there. They knew that was going down. Another person, uh, the maestro is getting There's low. There's no one in gym, though. Yeah. Maestro pinched. Low health, one shot. Twitch, yeah, Twitch just getting flanked by the bandit. Twitch couldn't do much there. Getting pushed by two, three different angles. Thatcher down. Yeah, this is not looking good for LCC. This lo looking like to be a 6-0. The Havana is going to try to latch last ditch effort and gets killed by the Valkyrie. So that's 6-0 Ohio State. LCC is not looking not looking <laughs> very well. They're kind of kind of just pushing everywhere, not really knowing. Yeah, it definitely looks like lack of coordination yeah. and especially intel on the part of yep. LCC on attacking and defending. They just haven't been able to get that intel on them. And it's also interesting to know that Ohio State hasn't been running uh, in Intel denying operators. They haven't been bringing Mozzie or Mute. So is this just Ohio State seeing the drones and shooting them? Is LCC being careless with the drones? Or are they just not droning? Now, unfortunately, we, we're not in on the comms. Um, and we're not going really into first-person perspective. And it's just not efficient for us to do that. So we can't really see how many drones are up at, at the given time. But it doesn't look like anyone's droning. Yep, uh, and that's a Monty pick coming out from Yubi trying to Jaeger me. Uh, it'll be interesting to see where they push from. They did bring the Thermite, but they're not bringing the Thatcher. So if they do choose to Bandit Trick that pool, yeah, if they, if they choose to Bandit Trick pool, it's going to be a hard time for Thermite. They're not bringing a Castle, so it should, actually, that Bandit's going to have a hard time Bandit Tricking if someone goes on to Jim, Jim Balcony or Jim Window. He's going to have a line of sight right down to that Bandit. They're, they're bringing a Mute, so LCC is going to have a good amount of drone denial. They, they, yes, you said they have the mute and the bandit, so they're going to be able to bandit yeah. that wall and stop those drones. But they didn't bring the castle. Yeah. So if anyone peeks that gym door, uh, that bandit is going to instantly die trying to bandit trick. Yeah, interesting to see them go gym first. Usually you don't see gym come out first. Usually it's a cash or basement defense. They're double reinforcing into... Uh, for, was that was that showers? The bathroom here. That's bathroom, yeah. Uh, I mean, if they're gonna play in there and they're gonna have one person hold A, but most people would go for a B plant, I would guess. Um, so I don't know what the point. Uh, normally, you see a rotate hole or at least a kill hole there, um, or rotate to be able to, to, to jump out of there and kill someone who's planting. And Ash already getting a pick out of the mute, playing aggressive somewhere. I don't know where. Kind of a questionable decision by the mute. LCC looks like they're leaving. Oh. Ash getting a double kill, just rushing into cash. This is just a no, full on Finka, rush so from Ohio State. Rush, yes. Finko with the sausage getting a kill onto <laughs> That's the rainbows. bandit down. Yep, bandit down. Rushing. rushing is he gonna get a second kill? He, he does. Uh, this does not so look good for LCC. So one v five zero six. I don't he's just think gonna he's gonna ace it. No. No. Uh, and that's Ohio State seven it's nothing. A flawless attack round. I would say four of those were flawless rounds. Yeah, a lot of those I don't know. At exactly. least three, possibly yep. four, were flawless rounds. So Ohio State looking very strong going into the final. Yeah. Uh, How are you feeling, fellas? I don't know. Uh, um, this is going to be. It, good. it remains to be seen. Uh, yeah. Obviously, it's late in the day, so LCC might just be tired. Uh, we've been playing siege for six hours, seven hours now. About seven point. hours. Yeah. It's, it's been a long day, um, so they might just be tired. They might have lost.